welcome to TCS. This is our showroom introduction. We've got a UK registered 1989 Chevrolet Corvette C4 with a 5.7 V8 and a four speed automatic transmission with overdrive. This one's a convertible. Engine's an L98, which is a 350 cubic inch. We've got port injection and say so we've got the four speed automatic with the overdrive, give you a bit more fuel consumption. Uh, we're in dark purple metallic, which we believe is GM code 05. Uh, we've got silver grey soft leather. Uh, we're just 62,000 miles. Uh, the cost new on this one was $40,000 back in 89. That is now the equivalent of $58,000, so very good value. Uh, I want to give a shout out to previous custodian, which was Tom, and his uh, social media is Living My Chevy Life and he now has continued that life with a TCS supplied Camaro SS. So good luck with Tom, and thank you for a lovely car with lots of documentation. So some quick stats on this one. So we're a 5.7 V8, which is a 350 cubic inch. We're 240 brake horsepower, uh, but bearing in mind this is a light car. We're 335 uh, pound foot torque, naught to 66.8, I'm told. A quarter of a mile is 15.1 on the auto and top speed is a theoretical uh, 150 with the top speed limiter removed. We're just 1480 kilograms, which is pretty light, um, especially nowadays, that's uh, Porsche 911 or BMW 3 Series weight. Uh, so we're near 50-50 weight distribution, which is pretty good. Um, average fuel consumption is 24 miles a gallon UK. We managed near a 30 to the gallon driving this car back. I thought it was a very, very good uh, car on fuel for one of these. A uh, 76 litre fuel tank, which will take you just over 300 miles on one tank. We're, uh, before you're asked, we're 177 inches long for your garage. We're 71 inches wide and just 47 inches high. So the base price on this one was 36,785, which included the four speed automatic overdrive. We've got uh, the preferred equipment group one package, which was $1163. Uh, we've got, uh, which that included the aircon, uh, which is climate on this one, uh, Bose sound system, six way electric seats, grey leather at 1025. We've got power retractable headlights, which is the most important thing for one of these cars. Uh, we've got power steering, power front and rear disc brakes with ABS. We've got uh, power windows, cruise control, electric liquid crystal instrument cluster. So we've got the digital instrument cluster which is all working thankfully uh, so new parts replaced recently as you can see it's got a nice new hood beige hood uh, we've got new uh, brakes uh, a refurbished interior nicely reconditioned seats and trim uh, we've got new radiator lots of fuel injection uh, bits and pieces uh, we've got a clear car fax the car did come over here from new it seems to have been garaged a lot because it's uh, no corrosion uh, to talk of underneath the tool it's very very good we'll get some photos done of the uh, chassis so you can see how great it is uh, last service would have been may 23 at 62 because we're just getting it done now uh, we've got clear carfax clear hbi and clear experian report mot expires 5th of may 24 with no advisories we've got at least two keys so you have two keys for doors and two keys ignition that's how they were back then uh, we've got MOTs going back to the year 2000. We've also got the build sticker we found online. And um, the documentation file is a good inch thick. So it's got plenty of documentation. Has won some rosettes at car shows. We've got all the stickers here. We'll try and find the rosette shortly. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do now, uh, this is going to be a difficult task, is uh, I'm going to take the hood down. But let's show you the condition of the hood first. We've got no cracks in the rear screen. There's no dirt on it, there's no green on it. It's just all lovely. Absolutely lovely condition. And I really love the beige with this purple. Uh, I've always loved the purple. Um, so we're gonna open the doors, pull the sun visors down, and we're gonna unclip the front of the hood. This is all manual, so there's nothing to go wrong as in the way of electrics. So we open these doors up, pull some visors down, and that's the front taken care of. Then we've got a clip in here, put my hand in, and I'm gonna try and find the 
find the lever. Of course, I won't be able to find it now because I'm looking for it. We will endeavour to find it. Okay, so we can't find it. So we may have to move on. Okay, so we're gonna move on to that. Uh, I'll find it as soon as I don't need to. So we've got silver gray leather, all in great condition, the power seats, six way power seats. Let's get inside. So we've got the electronic dash and we're showing the odometer is the only thing that isn't uh, electronic and that is 62731 now after we've driven it back. Uh, we've got a trip computer there. There's your climate control, auto air comp. There's the stats for the car. And we've got the electric windows and power seats which are an option and the optional autom automatic gearbox. We don't have an airbag, that's so you can bash your head against the dash and it won't hurt so much. Uh, let's pull the bonnet release, which is just down here. I can't open the boot because there isn't one. I'll leave that open. We'll have another go with the soft top shortly. Uh, let's show you the fuel, just in case I forget. So you can park either side of the fuel station, and there is your fuel filler cap. Not lockable. Don't seem to steal fuel in the States. Probably will start doing so now. Right, so I pulled the bonnet. So I'm going to lift it. And then we'll clip inside itself, like so, or there. There's your headlights turned upside down. So there's our mighty 5.7 V8. 240 horsepower. That's got a new battery on here. As you can see, that's your power brake servo. Alternator and power steering pump. I love it how it's, uh, it's like a Formula One car when you open up the engine bay on these things. As you can see, everything, quite a nice easy car to work on. All the nuts and bolts are huge. You can see by the, the uh, air conditioning pump uh, pipes how chunky everything is. There's your aluminium radiator to be replaced. Ram air. This is the air conditioning pump, which is the size of some engines on some new small mini cars. When it's all in great condition, we have got a few stone chips, a few little blemishes, but nothing to, to worry about. Of course, this car is made of plastic, so you're not going to suffer with any rust. Right, let's pull that back down again. Slowly, and then it will just kick it back in on its last bit. Now, wheels are in great condition, as, the, as you can see, they're chrome. Um, chrome doesn't particularly like the English weather, but you're okay if you can park the car away in your garage, that will really help. I think the next thing we need to do is hear the exhausts, so it has got a nice performance exhaust on her. So, let's give that sound. So, won't have a, a rev limiter on this one.
beautiful colour. Let's demonstrate that they go back in. easy to find it's just difficult to do it when you've got the camera in your hand so that bit will go up now we find another button that's our next problem oh yeah we've done it well this time okay so the there's the hood compartment there's the rosette and a few parts in there as well some oil filters and stuff and then the hood folds down like so all the instructions are inside uh, which is exactly where you need them before you take it down so once you've worked out to take it down then you can read them that's the soft top compartment locked in place and now you can have a better look at the steering wheel dashboard console carpets very sunny here today and warm i believe this one here is a phone aerial from the 90s and the electric aerial has decided to retire early so we're going to see if we can find another one of those we'll put a manual one in saying that the radio does work without an aerial so seats are in great condition has got cracks on them especially the driver's side but it's only through normal wear door cards are all in place Hopefully that's a fairly comprehensive walk around. Apologies if you couldn't find the hood compartment release. <coughs> so as a recap, we're a 1989 Corvette C4, automatic, convertible, 240 horsepower, uh, 62,000, I think it said 600 miles. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.